What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto Ranked Double Ladder with a team sent in by one of you guys, Bryce Young. Thank you so much for dropping that team. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want me to play your guys' uh, rental teams, make sure you leave me in the comment section down below. Leave me the rental code, leave me the list of the Pokemon. If you got an EV spread as well, leave that down there and tell me whether it is doubles or singles. I used to do this all the time, but ever since I took it off my layout screen, nobody's really been dropping teams. So you guys can drop teams whenever you guys want. Just leave them in the comment section down below. You guys know the deal. But right here, we got a hail team on our hands. We'll set my hail team right here with that snow warning nine tails can set up a roar bell, has blizzard, freeze strike, and moon blast for stab. So I'm actually hyped to use that. I haven't really used it too, too much. We got that Inteleon. You guys know Inteleon right here with that life orb does big old damage with blizzard, dark pulse, snipe shot, and protected. It also has that blizzard, like I said, as it will work well in that hail. We got that ride shoot to actually protect that Inteleon with that lightning rod so we can swap in and survive it from lightning shots, lightning shots, electric moves. <laughs> and it also has eerie impulse. If you guys do not know what that move does, it drops special attack stage by two. So it's kind of the charm of special attack. That move is awesome. We got that weakness policy dragon pull, the Mimikyu with that lumberry, and the Confidor with the Rose Roselli berry. You guys kind of already know what all those Pokemon do. But guys, I didn't say this yet. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys really. I have no idea everyone who just tunes in and watches everyone who likes the videos and everyone who just subscribes to the channel it goes a long way all around and helps the channel grow guys if you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen if you guys do use it let me know how you do with it but without further ado let's hop onto that rank ladder try to get some wins with this viewer team Battle number one on its way. This guy has a Butterfree kind of trick room team with that Dust Cops. And he also has Gigalith here. He can go two ways with this. He can go speedy side with that Dragapult, Rotom, Extra, or you can go with that bottom, slower side, trick room side with that Butterfree, that Dust Cops, and that Gigalith. That's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. But who are we going to lead for this first battle? Do I lead the Lola Ninetales? I could. I mean, he doesn't really have any droughts. Hey, yo. Let's do that. Let's go Alone Ninetales. Let's go, Inteleon. He has no way of really changing up the weather, right? So we can control the weather here, weather here, which is pretty nice. No electric, so Raichu can actually hold that back in. And then I could go into Conqueror and Mimikyu. Kind of want Conqueror here. Conqueror can do some work. Um, who else? I kind of want to go Mimikyu too. So I can control the Trick Room side. Yeah, let's go Mimikyu here. Let's go Mimi, Mimi, Mimi Poo. And he also has that Lumberry, so we can actually eat up a nice Sleep Powder, which is just beautiful. Maybe I should let him, let him just take out this uh, this Butterfree. Butterfree. Okay, I could have done that. I could have done that. But I think maybe just like a Blizzard turn one could work out well. He leads Butterfree. He leads Butterfree. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that they want to see my rank and all that. If you guys want to see my rank, just head in the link in the description below. G25 on Twitch. When we stream, we show off the rank. I really don't feel like showing off my rank in uh in uh YouTube videos because I feel like the loading screen's too much time. Right now I'm like four thousand something. I think it was four thousand three hundred something. We were forty-five and thirty-eight, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-five and thirty-eight. 8 or 39 losses and 45 wins but i really do not like to show it off too too much considering it wastes like a nice minute to two minutes sometimes just in loaded screen so multiply that by three along the course of the battles that's six minutes right there just wasting time so i'd rather just get straight into the battles for you guys like i said it's all the time when we're streaming i'm always pushing rank ladder and stuff so definitely go over there and check me out but he goes gigalith into exigil here and i can definitely see like a self-destruct no it was more for the sand stream that little booger uh do i drop the ice again I could drop the ice. This thing's probably going to outspeed. I mean, let's go with Roarbell, and I'm going to drop that ice, baby. I'm going to drop that ice. You want to play games with me? Wait, my Inteleon's faster than the... Hold up. We got we to gotta make sure. We got to make sure this thing's faster. I'd rather drop the ice and go from there. 189? Yeah, it is faster. Cool, cool, cool. I was going to say, yo, there's no way the Inteleon's not faster. Let's drop the ice here. And uh, try to get this Roarbell set up. So Gigalith is going to go last, and Exodus is probably going to go first, so we might see a Dynamax Steel Spike into the, uh, that's what I think we're going to see. I think we're going to see a Dynamax Steel Spike into the Lone Ninetales, Lone Ninetales go into Sash up, and then we're going to get this Hailstorm on, and then a Roar Bell pop it off. And that could be huge. Once we, once we get this Roar Bell set up, we can be uh, rolling out pretty strong. But yeah, I never really liked the Inteleon too, too much. When I first saw his, uh, uh, what is it, character animation, I don't even know, like, picture, I can't even think of the word. When I saw his design, that's what I went through. When I saw his design, I'm like, oh, bro, who would ever pick Inteleon? But yeah, all these starters really did grow on me. I love them all. I love them all. But he does Dynamax. Like I said, I think we're going to see a Steel Spike pop over to the left side. Over onto the, the Alolan Ninetales. So that's what I think is going to happen. We're going to Dynamax it as well. This thing has, uh, what is it called? A sand Rush. It has Sand Rush. So its speed is going to be double in this sand stream. But once I can change this weather up, we should be chilling. Because I don't see him one tapping up on my Inteleon. Not a chance. Not a chance. No chance. No chance. 
And Gigalith is going to go land, so he's probably going to go rock side and try to clean up the mess. But I think we're chilling here. Let's see. Steel Spike coming out here. Hey, Rock Falls going to come out here. Go on. I don't care if you go on my uh, Alola Nightcales. That's fine. Yeah, he does. That's totally fine by me. Super effective. And we eat up. But that's Focus Sash. And like I said, everything is going to work out in our favor here. We are chilling. Here goes my uh, Max Hailstorm. We're going to change the weather back up. Slide over on this Gigalith. Do some damage over here. Nope. Just a little bit. All I wanted was that Hailstorm and be able to set up this Aurora Veil. Then I can set up the rain next turn, which is going to be even bigger. We can set up the rain and get going with that. Well, let's go. Aurora Veil, baby. Yes, sir. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Let's go. Big old boost right here. I think he's going to go for a rock slide here. I really do. Yeah, rock slide. And of course, it double connects, yo. But whenever I use it, it's got, it, usually, it usually misses the person. So mine would have missed that nine kills, but it's all good. It's all good. You get buffeted. Dude, that actually did a decent amount of damage. In the roar bell as well. I don't think this thing's rock and brick break. I don't think this thing's rock and brick break. But do we want to go Conqueror here? I could just rock out into a drain punch or I could go mini mini poo. I kind of want to save mini poo. And go right here. My Italian should be able to outspeed. My Italian should be able to outspeed that actually. I'm thinking. So I'm thinking of actually going into a geyser here and just a mock punch. Oh no, I think Sash is already off. It's not going to a mock punch. Going to a drain punch over on the Gigalith, and let's just drop a geyser over on the extra drill here because we should be able to just uh, do some mean work on over on this extra drill. It's just a geyser. I really do wonder what he's going to do here. I think he's stuck along the ropes here. I think he's stuck along the ropes. He withdraws the Gigalith. I'm totally fine by that. Unless you have okay, it's Dust Cops. That was that was smart. You can eat up that shot, but like I said, I have my Mimikyu in the back end. He reveals my life orb. He frisks me, and this geyser should be able to do some big old damage to this thing. Life orb, stab, and we can set the rain. He's gonna KO. It does pick up the KO. It does! Let's go! But, nice call by him. That's totally fine. Maybe I should've went into an ice punch, but regardless, that's fine. Um, I could swap out and get Mimipoo out here to try to get that trick room up. But I think I might just go for the big dump shots. Max geyser onto the dust cops? That could be huge. That could be huge. Rain punch is not going to affect this thing. I think he's gonna come out here and try to send that uh, sand stream again. And send that sand stream again. Now oh, he goes Rotom. He goes Rotom, Rotom. Okay, water Rotom. Uh, do I swap here? Do right you? Or do I say yo? It's not happening. Or do I say it's not happening? Oh, how do I play this one? I kind of want to just go into the dust cops and not even worry about that Rotom for right now. I'm gonna double up on the slot. I'm gonna double up on this slot. Cause he's trying to get that trick room, I think. Let's see what happens. Ally switch. Rotom's protecting. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Rotom protects. I make the right call here. He's trying to get this off. We're doubling into this thing. And then I can swap into my Raichu if I really want to. A big old damage. I don't think we're going to take this thing out. That's rough news if we do not take this thing out. That is rough news. And I cannot uh, just hit it with a... Unless we freeze it. Freeze it. Come on. Show it. Show it. Will Lewis comes out. Bro. He wasn't even going for the trick room. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. We can say bye bye to the dust cops. Then I can actually roll into a big old drain punch over on this side. Oh my god, dude. Easy, baby. Uh, I'm gonna snipeshot this. I like the animation. He pulls out the finger gun. He's like, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> But then, yo, he didn't even try to get that trick room off. He's gonna withdraw the dust cops. And what's he going into? Sandstream, boy? Yep, Sandstream, Gigalith. He has to. It's his only other mod. And I'm gonna just throw a snipeshot to it. I'm gonna just give it the ba 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 Sandstream comes out. Like, I'm totally cool with it. Same shot should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Same shot. Yeah, yeah. Get him, yo. Look at that. Points that finger. Boop. Nice big old damage. Let's not take him out, but it gets pretty close, too. And our life orb damage is going to be taken away. And he's probably going to... Oh, he's going to set up a nasty plot. He's going to try to plot up. I mean, we drain punch it on you, and I know we have the speed advantage. I could drop a blizzard to pick up the double KO, but I can just mock punch as well. Yeah, boop. Big old damage, yo. Big old damage. Like, I know we outspeed. Oh, but this suit eats up. This suit eats up. I'm definitely going to mock punch into that left side. And go for the Dark Pulse over on you. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 Did he Dynamax yet? Yeah, he did. We, we dumped on his Dynamax. Well, we gave him the dump ski, baby. But yeah, yo, mock punch. Do I see the Protect coming out from the Giggy? I'm going to say the Protect comes out from the Giggy left or the swap out. I'm doubling into you, dude. I am doubling into this road, Tom. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. What are you going to do, Gigalith? You think we're going for that mock punch? You think we're doing it? We were. We were. But, yo, big brain coming in. Watch this, guys. Watch this big brain. This will determine. Does jeans have the big brain? <laughs> He's thinking now. He's confused. Go ahead. Protect. I dare you. Do it. Do it. 
Let's see. No, he does not! <laughs> Jeez does not have big brain, but this could actually help us out a lot here. To take out the Rotom. Rotom's missing anyway. Doo doo Rotom. Drain Punch comes through. Picks up the KO. Bye bye. <laughs> no big brain for Jeans. I thought he was totally going for that protect. I mean, we should be able to survive whatever and be able to go into a mock punch and then roll out here and win this match. But I still have uh, Mimikyu in the back end. Rockside comes out. Uh, Inteleon might go down here. No, Inteleon. Up oh, to the Sandstorm. Bye bye, Inteleon. No, Inteleon. No. The heart and soul of this squad. But, dude, the Roar Bell's been huge for us. The Roar Bell really has been uh, big for us. Been able to help us soak up some shots. There it goes. The Roar Bell does wear off. And I can just go into Mimi Mimi Poo. And a mock punch can come through, take out that. And it's just this in the dust clock. So, bro. Game, set, and match. This one's easy. This one's easy. He might go for some burns, but yo, Dust Cops is legit on one. <laughs> and both both of them are so slow. So yeah, they're both legit like on like one tap. So we're going to go here, and then I can just go into a Shadow Sneak. And just say, Night Night, GG. He's probably going to cancel up, cancel this battle. Yep, he canceled the battle. We got 1-0 and o to start off this video. Let's get it. Let's hop into battle number 2 and try to go 2-0. and o. Who's next? Who wants it next from the Gene Ski Boy? Let's get it. Match number two coming out here. Rotom Wash, he's got the Incineroar with that Intimidate. We already know that moveset. He's got the Halucha. Okay. Halucha. Halucha is a sick little mon. I really do like Halucha. Uh, extra Drill, Extra Drill. Everyone loves Extra Drill. Mimikyu and Sylveon. Okay. Um, okay. How can I roll out here? How can I roll out here? I mean, don't really want to lead my Dragapult as he might lead that Incineroar. Uh, who could he lead that could be a, pose a big threat? Like, Inteleon and Ninetales are still looking solid. Like, the only way he can run Sandstream would be, uh... Would be to set it himself. So, I think the Ninetales lead could be beautiful. I think the Ninetales lead and the Inteleon could be just nice and go right off with the Dynamax here. Do I bring Raichu? I really don't feel like Raichu's that needy here. I mean, it could be good. I say we go, uh... I kind of want to bring that Dragapult for that speed factor. Where's the end? I feel like Dragapult could be, uh, pose a nice big threat. I'd say we go Dragapult and Raichu, to be honest. I don't think we really need Mimikyu or the Conkodor. I mean, Conkodor's always good in the back end, for sure. He has Ice Punch, he has the Mop Punch first turn, but no, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We have a uh, Fake Out with that Raichu, and we got, a uh, Nuzzle, we can Nuzzle up, slow up, and Dragapult just outspeeds a lot there, so. Let's get rolling here. Battle number two. Come on, boy. I love this lead. I love the lead of the Inteleon and Alolan Ninetales. I'm pretty sure when you play this team, that's uh, that's your main lead. Like, most of the time, you're going to be leading those two. Because it just works very, very well. Like, Inteleon's just so good. Inteleon's so good, and then we can set the Snow Warden and go from there. But it goes these two. I'm going to set up the Roar Bell easy turn one. And uh, I don't really think he has a way of changing the weather without Dynamaxing. Snow Warden does pop. Give me a little bit of pop skis. We see him changing the weather. Do I just go straight in? Dynamax set in the rain. No, no, we outspeed, so. I mean, I could just drop a blizzard. I mean, I'm gonna just drop this. I'm gonna just drop the hailstorm over on him. I'm gonna set this at Aurora Veil and be able to chill from there. I mean, wait a minute. Let me see his Pokemon real quick. And who's he gonna swap? He could swap into somebody, but. I mean, that's fine. As long as I get this Aurora Veil up, we should be chilling. The Aurora Veil helps out so much. You guys already know how big that is. And we're going to Dynamax here. I hope he Dynamaxes as well. I hope he Dynamaxes that Halucha, but I don't really know what he's going to do. He's not swapping out, which is nice. But something I saw when uh, Alola Ninetales was first introduced into the meta and all that was people were using it with Hypnosis, and that actually dumped on me in one match. I was not expecting it. Just like Hypnosis. I'm like, bruh. Hypnosis again. I'm like, bruh, bruh. What you mean? Just put me to sleep, and then he was rolling out from there and setting his own reward bell. That, that was pretty nice. What's he going to go into? He's going to detect me. Or no, he's going to detect itself. That's totally fine. Detect me. Why did I say that? But Hailstorm's still going to pop here. We'll do some nice damage over here. Build, 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 build. Not bad damage at all, but like I said, I just wanted to get that Aurora Bell up, and that was in case he might uh, go into something, change the weather. And what is he? He has weakness policy, but it's good to know that we outspeed it. Good to know that we do outspeed it. We lose some of our HP, and our Aurora Bell gets set up before the Sylveon even makes a play. So that's huge. I can probably see a Hyper Voice coming in here. And then I can just roll Blizzard and take out that Halucha, no problem. Hyper Voice comes out here. We, ooh, 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 crit, that's why I was going to say. I was going to say, why did it do so much damage there? Why did it do so much damage? I say we just go into the... Let's try to go into it. I mean, Free Strike can come out here. We can do some work. I kind of want to set this rain. I mean, he has weakness policy, so I kind of want to go after him. To be honest. To be honest, I don't want to really play too many games. I say we do uh, go for the geyser over here. Mm, and then I go into the Free Strike, maybe? But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for this blizzard. I know I'm taking off the, the, what's it called? 
I know I'm taking off the hail, but it's fine. It's fine. I, I have faith in this blizzard of landing on both mons. I really do wonder what the Haluch is going for. I, I know he was trying to, oh, he's going for flying press. He misses. Okay, I'm down for it. <laughs> the boy's luck's changing. Let's go. We can say bye bye to him. I just want to set this rain, and I'm hoping my blizzard could actually uh, connect here. Maybe get the freeze. Maybe get a freeze. And hopefully we can eat this one up because that crit kind of did us dirty. The crit did us dirty. So if we don't eat up, I'm going to be kind of mad. See this. Blizzard misses. No! <laughs> Bro! Stop it! Italian lands on two. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we will get another turn. Yay! <laughs> yeah! That, that is actually huge for us. But dude, the Blizzard messed up that. That, that Sylveon's actually hitting like a truck. So who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Mimikyu with Shadow Sneak. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. So he's going to take me out. Do I guard? Just to pose another threat and waste a turn from him? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, la, 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 la. Or is he going to Swords Dance? I think he Shadow Sneaks, to be honest. But, you know what? I'm going to throw Geyser over on the same group. And I'm going to take off that thing to Aurora Bell. Oh, not Aurora Bell. I'm going to take off his disguise here. So is he going to go for a Shadow Sneak? He does. Uh, that's fair. Oh, on me. Thank you. Oh, he has quick attack. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? But okay, we'll take that. That's totally fine. We survive. I was going to say. I totally forgot to think I quick attack. I was going to be like, yo, your boat or Sylveon's dead. That's awesome. We get to get rid of this. He has quick attack. Who can we roll into here? So no more. Uh, and we get the drop. We get the special attack drop, but this thing's physical. We drop his disguise. Um, I think Dragapult's going to be the safe call to go into. Is that going to be a safe call? I'm probably not. Let's go Raichu. Let's go Raichu here. I gotta get that Sylveon out the way before we even do anything. Uh, probably Dynamax Mount is going to be that, uh, that, what's it called? That Mimikyu. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna fake out you. And I'm going to try to drop a Blizzard. I'm gonna go for the Blizzard. I really gotta land this Blizzard. I gotta land this Blizzard. But I think that Mimikyu just takes out my, uh, takes out my Ninetales with a Shadow Sneak and we fake out the Sylveon for that turn. Protect coming out. Ah! Bruh. Stop it. Fake out comes out. That's a. That's a. No, he's probably going for a shadow sneak, right? Yep. Shadow sneaking. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. Alright, now what's the play call? Now what is the play call here? We're sitting in a tough spot. We got Dragapult. Now the real question is I say we, uh. Do, you, do we think it's gonna take out? If I eerie impulse that and take out the Mimikyu? Like, he cannot protect, so I could just go with the Nuzzle here. He cannot protect. I say I go Eerie Impulse. We know we outspeed. That will drop it by minus two. And I could go drop it to a Phantom Force. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Phantom Force comes out. We out of here, boy. We out of here. We drop it to a Phantom Force. And the Eerie Impulse is going to minus two on the special attack board here. It's actually pretty big. And I wonder what Mimikyu's doing. I wonder what Mimipoo's doing. Mimikyu, what are you doing? Hyper Voice comes out here. My boy dodges it, my Dragon Pole. That is really what I wanted. And uh, Raichu eats up pretty well here, as it's minus two. It is minus two. And this thing's going to set a Trick Room, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with, to be honest. And I can start uh, nuzzling up. I could start nuzzling up. The War Veil does wear off. Um, do I go into another one? Another Eerie Impulse? Or do I uh, nuzzle up? <laughs> I say I nuzzle up on this thing. I say I nuzzle up on you. Eerie Impulse. That thing's minus two. I say once we hit this thing, actually, I should have Eerie Impulse it again. I should have Eerie Impulse again because he could trigger my weakness policy, which would be huge. But Nuzzle is also huge. Hyper Voice comes out here. Dragon Pole avoids it, and we'll be able to eat this up once again. Was that a crit? That might have been a crit. No, it wasn't. He's going to taunt me. That's fine. We're Nuzzling. We're Nuzzling. We're not Eerie Impulsing again. You think we're doing that? Oh, for taunt. Nuzzle comes out here. Boop, boop, boop. Paralyzed and potentially KO here. I'm thinking he's dead here from the Phantom Force. Oh, no. He's got Lumberry. That's totally fine. A lumberry cured his paralysis. And of course comes out. Boop. Bye bye. Bye bye. He still has his Dynamax. This is what's scary. He's coming down close here. He's got the trick room up. What's his final Pokemon? What's his final Pokemon? We cannot eerie impulse again. And he's probably gonna go trigger our weakness policy here. Because he will go first. He will 100 percent go first with that uh Sylveon as the trick room's going out. And he goes into this is probably gonna be his Dynamax Mon, the Excadrill. Bruh, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, this match is kinda over. I can't, I can't do that. I'm going to have to go into a nuzzle over on you. Go for the best. I could protect. 
He's Dynamaxing though. Ah, no! <laughs> oh, this one's over. This one's over. GG this guy. We're gonna get one and one with this team, I believe so, unless a miracle happens. But hopefully we can win the third and final battle. Get that winning record. Man! Extra glad they come out. He saved his Dynamax. He played that one actually really well. He played that one really well. Really, really well, yeah. Let's see what happens here. He goes for Hyper Voice. Triggers my policy. Dang, it still did a heap of them out of there. Where's my policy? Don't you dare touch me, Extra Joel. As I get this Phantom Force off and I just start teeing off. Get it. Nope. Quake's coming out here. Exactly. That's going after Raichu. So you're saying there's a chance, buddy. So you're saying there's a chance. There's absolutely no chance. Les, hold, hold the phone. No, I don't think there's a chance. <laughs> We're going to drop it to the Phantom Force. Right? That's what I hit. Phantom Force comes out here. So he's going to have to miss next turn. And we could potentially take out the Sylveon here. And then, um... Protect into outspeed KO? No, dude, not happening. But I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for this win. He's probably sashed anyway. We have a weakness policy, which is dope. Is they're both gonna miss a taxi? We are fast. This trick room's gonna bite him into buns now. He's gonna do him dirty. Come on, Dragon Ball. <laughs> Could you imagine if I win this one? This dude'd be so salty. He'd be so salty. Yo, make a move. Like, I don't know what you think you're gonna do. Protect, that's not doing anything. We hit through those protects. We hit through this protects with Phantom Force. And the guard's coming out here. Stupid. <laughs> Let's get it, Phantom Force. Dang. There you go. <laughs> Dumped on that thing. Now the real call is, if I protect, can I eat up? And how many turns are left in the trick room? Mm. Brr, 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 brr. Let's see, how many turns? If there's two turns left in the trick room, we definitely lost. There's one. There is one. I have to protect, eat up somehow, and then be able to Phantom Force KO. Oh my lord. <laughs> so there's actually like a slight chance here. Let's see what happens. Here goes my Protect. Come on, what you want? Come on, Dragon Pole, eat it up. Heal Spike coming in here. Eat it up, buddy. We eat on the boat. If this thing's not Sash and we can one tap it, that could be huge. I know he has a defense boost. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Phantom Force gotta come out here. Phantom Force gotta do him dirty. He protects. That's totally fine. We going in. We going down. We burrowing up. Phantom Force coming down. We drop it. We drop it. <laughs> okay. We need him to miss here, or we get the KO. Hopefully, he's not Sash. We can just. Whoops. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna one tap him because he has that defense boost. But we'll see. Phantom Force comes out. Yay! Do it dirty. No! Miss! Miss, buddy! Miss! Iron Head! <laughs> no! Yo, GG to that guy. GG. Oh, man. Oh, man. We almost had the comeback of the century. Let's hop into battle number three and try to get this winning record. Third and final battle for this video. This guy has a Gore guys team. I haven't went up against one, but I saw one used in like some international tournament and I always want to use it, but I never got my hands on a code for it. But here we go. Final battle. Who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead? Um, I think I might throw it a little different here. Go a little different here. I don't really want to lead that Inteleon, but I kind of want to bring that Inteleon here. Even though Inteleon would be a solid lead here. But I think he's going to go T-Tar. I really do think he's going to go to the Tar, the Tar power. So, I honestly think Inteleon would be a good call, but not the Ninetales. Maybe bring the Ninetales in the back end and go Raichu here just for the fake out and have that rolling. Um, go Ninetales in the back, like I said. And then final position. I kind of want Conqueror here. I kind of do. It has that Ice Punch, has the Drain Punches. Can do some work around here. I think Conqueror is going to come in here. Mm, Conqueror! Yeah. Let's get Conqueror. Get Conqueror. <laughs> but, come on. I want this winning record with this team. This team has been tons of fun to play. The past two battles, it's just a fun team. It's really, it's actually a good team, but I feel like you have to learn it a little bit. Because what I see from it is just like, uh, Inteleon and Ninetales are your, your main Pokemon. And like, if you can't really get them in, you have to know ways around it. You have to know ways around it. Plus, a lot of people are going to be realizing, they're going to be like, okay, you're going into that Inteleon. And that. We're going to go here. I could have led my, I could have led him. It could have been an easy lead. But, 
Gorgeist is scary. I wonder what Gorgeist does. He friskies me. He gives me the frisky poos. He friskies me up. I'm not a fan. Um, I could go for a Dark Pulse, or I'm, I'm thinking of Dynamaxing. And just dropping a uh, Dark move. Just going here. And then dropping the Fake Out over on the Togekiss. I think that is the play. That is the play. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Yeah, Inteleons are, are Dynamax mine of choice. Usually, I mean, other Pokemon that I could do us Dynamax in would be uh, maybe the, uh, what's it called? The Dragapult in certain situations, if I know I can actually trigger that policy and just get rolling from there. But let's see what this dude does. I, I'm telling you, like, I have no idea what the Gorgas is going to do. I really have no idea. I, n I don't even know what moves he's probably rocking. Big out comes out. Slap! And we're coming in with that dark. We're coming in with that dark move. Max Darkness. Get him! Let's just take him out. Let's not even worry about him. Let's not even worry about that thing. Let's not even worry about the Gore guys. I don't even care what moves he has. I'm not worrying about him. I'm not doing it. Wham, 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 wham. We got the special defense shot, which is going to be huge. And that thing is not going to be able to move. I can start nuzzle buzzling up. And where I can do an eerie, imp eerie impulse is so good. It is the charm of special attack. And you guys know I love charm. Especially against uh, physical attackers like right here. But eerie impulse just works the exact same. The exact same. But whom are you going to go into? Maybe a T-Tar? If you go T-Tar, then I swap into my uh, Lola Ninetales. If you go C-Tar here, then I swap into a Lola Ninetales. And get the snow instead of the sand sandstorm. Why do I always call it snow? Because Incineroar, that's totally bothering me. Um, I think he's going to try to bait a move here. I think I'm going to... Bum, bum, bum. I think he's going to try to bait a move here. I mean, trying to bait a water move, I'm going to set this for water. I'm going to dump on that thing. I mean, he's probably going to go for a follow me, to be honest. I think I'm just going to drop the hailstorm over here, to be honest. And then I can go into a, a volt switch or do a nuzzle buzzle. I say a volt switch. I'm going to volt switch out into the, what's it called? Into the, what's it called? Yeah, follow me's coming in here. I'm going to volt switch out into the Alolan Ninetales. And... And just uh, roll out from there. So here comes the hailstorm. This is the take out. I think it will take out. He's minus one on special attack. We have the volt switch coming through. Yeah. Bye bye, Tokus. The volt switch is gonna pop off over into that incineroar. I wonder what the incineroar is doing. I wonder what that incineroar is doing. Maybe going for a parting shot, something along those lines. I really have no clue. I really do have no clue. Let's see what he goes for. What are you going for? I go first though. Yay! <laughs> we'll switch out and we'll get a low one nine tails up here and try to set that roar bell. If I give us a roar bell, this game's pretty much set in stone but I still have another turn and he cannot can he swap out from that uh no he cannot swap out he cannot swap that into normal route which is awesome and he's gonna go for a snarl barrel that's totally fine I'll set up this roar bell and I can totally drop a uh, geyser that will pick up the KO but we are now minus one which is eh but the life probe kind of helps us out there in that situation but look at that hit that up and now what mine is he gonna dynamax I don't think it's going to be that incineroar I really do not think it's gonna be that incineroar we have to set up aurora bell Here's his final one. It is going to be that T-Tar. Ooh! Ugh. Some tough news. Um, I'm going to just drop a... Uh... I'm thinking that thing's weakness policy. I'm not going to drop the ice on it. Actually, I could. Yeah, I'm going to drop the ice on it. Actually, I'm going to play it safe. In case that thing wants to guard, I'm going to drop it over here. In case that thing wants to guard, I'm going to drop it over on that side. And I'm going to go into an Aurora Bell and set that up. Because I know both my mods should be able to outspeed these guys. Because these are little slow boogers. But yeah, just in case he wants to grow large, Max Guard to kind of neglect me getting weather damage or the rain going and will waste my last turn of Dynamax. I'm going to throw it over on this Incineroar. I don't care that's not very effective. I'd rather just play it safe and get this Aurora out as I still have two back-end Pokemon. Raichu, I can just nuzzle that thing up. I can just give that the, that the nuzzle buzzle. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he does not guard. Okay, that's fine. No, we'll just drop it into you. Boop, 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 boop. Do a little bit of damage, and then we can set the roar bell, kind of help us soak up some damage. But I just gotta watch out for that T-Tar and trigger that thing's weakness policy. That's like that's more of a scary thing. The roar bell should be chilling. We should, right? Right? We outspeed here. Yeah, we outspeed. A roar bell is up and going, baby. What you want? <laughs> what does this dude want? Get out of my face! Get out of my face! He's gonna drop the rock ball, change it back. But we already got the roar bell, so I'm cool with it. Lone nine tails probably gone here. Oh no, go and tell him. That's totally fine by me. We'll be able to eat up. We chilling. He's probably gonna snarl bar all again. But so like I said, that's totally fine. I can just uh, start going after that uh, Incineroar. Oh, no, he goes for Flare Blitz. Okay. Flare Blitz. Yeah. Says bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ninetales. 
Uh, Raichu's gonna pop out here. I'm gonna put the Paralyze over on that, uh, the T-Tar. Ooh, some big old recoil damage. Some big old recoil damage. Because we have Raichu in the back, and then Final Mon is, uh... Oh, my boy, yo. The, one of the best back-end Pokemon. The Conkledore. The Conkledore. He's gonna be able to rock out here. I right, say so we go Snipe Shot into... Do I fake out? I mean, I could fake out Incineroar. But then he could just jump on me. Scary part. As much as I want to, I feel like the best bet would be going to a Nuzzle here. Instead of faking out the Incineroar. Like, I know we outspeed him. We can guarantee us getting this uh, Nuzzle off. Let's see what happens here. Snipe Shot comes out. Dang. Can this? Can we take out? <laughs> <Dang. laughs> Boom! Take him out. Let's go. Beautiful. So no need for the fake out the Nuzzle. What's the right call? We can Nuzzle Buzzle up here. And it's looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good here. Get that nuzzle. I love nuzzle. I think nuzzle is one of the greatest, most underrated moves in the game. Watch this. Watch him not be able to move. Like, okay, he got the move now. He's gonna take out my uh Italian here. Italian goes down. We bring out and that's all of his turns, right? Is that all of his turns? What do you go for? He went for a rock ball? No, oh, I think he has one more. I think he does have one more. I, I really don't want to trigger that weakness policy. Like that that's like the last thing I want to do right now. We go here. I'm going to protect you. And then I am going to... Do I have Protect on this thing? I don't think I do. I do not. I'm going to Protect the Conkledore. I mean, I think Conkledore is slower. I'm actually just so Drain Punch. But... And I guess I'll Volt Switch. <laughs> Try to do a little bit of damage to it. Oh, actually, Conkledore is faster. That might have been the wrong play. Unless Paralyze gets triggered here. Unless you go into my Raichu. If you go into my Raichu, I'm totally fine with it. I totally forgot about the Paralyze, how it drops speed. But his safe bet would be to go for the... I mean, his safe bet wouldn't be... He's probably trying to make a read. He's, he's, he's looking at... Is my Conqueror going to protect? That is his... What he's looking at. That's what he's looking at. But if I trigger this weakness policy, we kind of might have just muffed ourselves up. Maybe I should just run straight into the protect. Well, switch comes out. Hopefully he goes after my Raichu. That could be good. I know he has weakness policy. No doubt in my mind. But that is huge damage. We should be able to end the game. We, we kind of won this one now. <laughs> we kind of won this one now, depending on who he takes out. Oh my god, Conqueror. Doing too much damage there, buddy. Rockfall comes out. Who's he going after? Taking out my Conqueror. He went for my Conqueror. Conqueror eats up anyway, regardless. Yummy. We eat that one. Yummy. GG, baby. Who would want to see me get that winning record? Yo, Conqueror was a great back end Pokemon. See how much damage that thing does to T Tars? This is why he's so good. Look at that mock punch. Just give him a little. Mm -mm -mm. Give him the 1 2 McGregor, 3 4 Mayweather. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, mock punch. Oh, get him out of here. Get him going. He cancels the battle. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go. 2 and 1 with this team. My boy, Man B, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really did like it. I love everything about it. I love the Alolan Ninetales. Like, I don't really use it too, too much, so getting to use it and show it off was awesome. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Like I said, if you guys want me to play your guys' run teams, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.